Milk Dad, what happened? If my law enforcement officers are watching this video, I did not kill anybody, okay? Kill me, bad. Oh, that's not a good look, buddy. Ouch. All the people in this video are fictional characters. They do not exist. Uh, I do not condone, support harassment of Milk Dead or anybody else in this video. Um, uh, thank you, YouTube. It's beautiful. Really just love to appreciate modern art. On behalf of Paycheck Gang, you're welcome. You're welcome that Milk Dead is no longer on the platform. You're welcome. It's been a long time coming. If you've been uh, around, I guess, the circle of content creators that I am related to, then you've probably noticed that Milk Dead, the furry content creator with such bangers like She's Back, <laughs> mysteriously vanished. His entire channel has disappeared. What's up with that? Here's why. It's because Milk Dead quit in disgrace because he knew this Paycheck Gang video was going to be dropping on him. Because Milk Dead is not only a dog shit content creator, but a serial abuser who f***ing horribly abused one of my close friends in Paycheck Gang. Doing months upon months of horrible emotional and psychological damage to them. He quit his YouTube channel because he knew this was coming. Now that might sound like a bold claim on the face of it, but you'll understand by the end of this that that is the case. Now, there's another character in this that you're going to hear a lot about, and that is uh, Tyler. Tyler, close friend of mine, uh, who was dating Milk Dead at the time, pretty much through the entirety of 2022. Now, they're now in Paycheck Gang, and they have uh, pretty much supplied all the ammunition to take down Milk Dead. So, that's who Milk Dead is. That's who Tyler is. And, um, yeah, without further ado, we killed Milk Dead. I had to adapt to the adult life right away. Now before I get into this, a couple of things. First of all, pretty please subscribe. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Second of all, YouTube has made some new changes where they will demonetize you if you say like a single no-no word. So I'm just gonna be over the top censorship with the 1984 sound right there through this entire video. Subscribe. If you were a fan of Milk Dead, just subscribe to me instead. I'm better. <laughs> Part one here is going to be talking about the abuse that happened on Tyler. Now, I have such an incredible fucking archive of abuse that I'm not going to be going through like points or things, but it's actually going to be cataloged by the type of abuse that he committed. I'm not going to be able to get through all of it because again, there are hundreds of things. There's actually going to be a download link for this file in the description. It comes with all the notes for this and other additional proof and things that I may not be able to get to. I want to start first with his response to this stuff, his preemptive response, because little little do you know but uh milk that actually made a response video this was then taken down and his entire channel with it here's here's some stuff from his response video and i just want to play this so that you understand before we get into all the serious shit um just how fucking little he takes this seriously it really it's just guilt tripping galore that's because i was sick on the holidays so i couldn't get out of bed <laughs> My mental health was getting so bad that I could hardly sleep, which caused very severe insomnia. I almost crashed my car heading to work due to drowsiness. I was thinking not the best of thoughts. I felt like I wasn't a good person, and I know I wasn't. I hurt people by accident, or I was just a genuine asshole. I, I have anger issues. It leaks out whenever I get upset about something or very stressed, which caused me to hurt people without knowing. I was away from the place I grew up. I was away from my friends. I lost my dog, lost my opportunity in baseball, and so much more. I had to adapt to the adult life right away. <laughs> <laughs> no, Milk did. He had to, guys. Life's hard, you know what I'm saying? You gotta adapt to the adult life. He doesn't actually address any of the stuff that I'm going to get into here. He just is like, well, hey guys, you know, my dog died, so sorry if I emotionally abused people. You know, life's hard when you gotta keep down 
abusing someone for a year straight. Life's really fucking hard, isn't it? Case number one, gaslighting. I don't want you to leave me. I don't, I'm afraid to say some certain stuff, but I have to be honest. And I know you get pissed at me whenever I'm honest or whenever I'm myself. You are selfish because it seems like you only care about everything that you do. If you don't know what gaslighting is, it's a form of emotional abuse where you pretty much make the person that you're abusing feel like they are crazy. Milk Dead did this in a lot of ways, making them, at the end of the day, scared to even share their own emotions. Anytime that, that Tyler would go and vent to him, he would find some way to like spin it around and make it so that all of a sudden, oh, why are you being such like, why are you acting like you're the victim here? Why are you like being annoyed? You all, you're crying all the time. It's very annoying. You know, after all this time, you still want to kill yourself. That's pathetic. Making them feel like they're, you know, crazy for just like, you know, being depressed. Like, what if you got mad at someone when they just, you know, disconnected on their phone? They didn't disconnect from the call. Their phone just disconnected them. Uh, you missed a call from deleted user that lasted a few seconds. Okay, be like fucking that. I love it when you hang up on me to avoid conflict, heart emoji. Tyler says my data is literally dying. Oh, really? So the last time you used to call me, it was fine, but now? Please just let me know you are all right. I'll give you some space. Never. I love you. What do you even want? Nothing. I just said I love you. Don't be saying that. I'm a creep. That's final. Now leave me alone. I'll just talk to you when I need another thumbnail. See ya, Onion. Sorry. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. You don't need to apologize. See? I f***ing knew it. What did I do? You are mad, you f***ing liar. What? un believable I am not mad. Go play with someone f***ing else. F this. I hurt people by accident. Like I said, making your victim feel like they're insane for just doing actually nothing. It's a way of keeping them in control, and it's pretty much the foundation for a lot of the bad stuff that went on in this relationship. Again, there are so many fucking examples, especially with gaslighting, that I can't even get into all of it. What's your Insta? Gotta unfollow and block it. Oh wait, I can just find it. No worries. I already unadded you on Roblox. Yeah, this is definitely how you should talk to your girlfriend. Which would lead me into my, uh, second category, which is... Guilt tripping. Now, the reason I'm following this up with gaslighting is because it's another thing that is pretty foundational for a lot of this stuff. You know, you gotta compensate with a little bit of guilt tripping. Now, what a guilt trip is for people that are unaware is not actually taking responsibility for anything, but pretty much just making your victim feel pity for you. So, like, if you hit them with a car, you would go, Oh my god, I really fucked up. I guess I'm just a real big klutz. You know, like, you would just make it really dramatic and make it all about yourself. And man, Milk Dead is gonna have a fucking gold medals after he comes back from this historic guilt tripping Olympics run. Holy shit! I'm off. The first glorious anniversary. Obviously, this prompts this prompts the response from someone that cares about them, Tyler, to say, "Stop! You aren't none of those things. You don't deserve a bullet in your head. You need love." He goes on though. He goes on because he's getting away with it. Go on. Now this can also come in the form of preying on the fact that Tyler wants to be in a relationship with them. So they'll say things like, why can't you be with someone else? I'm going to find someone else for you. Multiple things like this where it's like, no, they want you. They want to be in a relationship with you. And I think you know that, but you are playing on that so that they stop complaining. Because it's like, then it provokes the reaction of like, oh, okay, if I complain about it, then he's going to say that I need to be with someone else. So I'm just going to not complain about it. You see what I mean? I'm an awful abusive boyfriend. Groomed you, treated you like shit, scarred you, emotionally and verbally abused you, weren't there for you, made you want to kill yourself, made you harm yourself, ETC. I vocally abused you. Again, talking about himself like this, which, to be fair, he did do all of these things. Glad he can just come right out and say it himself. But it's a guilt trip, you know? It's to provoke the reaction of Tyler saying, No, no, you didn't do this, you didn't do this, so that he can get away with it in his own mind. Work has been stressful. After Thanksgiving, I have to work six days a week temporarily. Not being able to see you, ETC. I'm an asshole. And being mean to you, I will never forgive myself for this. <sighs> Life's so hard, bro. Life's so hard. Now that you've got, you know, this kind of dependence on him via the gaslighting and guilt tripping that he's put you through, now he's going to subject you to something called financial abuse. Common strategy in relationships to keep one person at bay, pretty much. So, like, if one person has a reliance on another person for money, then, you know, it's gonna they're going to be in that relationship for longer, even if it's hurting them and they don't actually want to. They are going to feel more of a need to because... Now they have a financial obligation. Now it's like the way that they're getting some money. 
their maybe even all of their money now here he starts by saying this oh i'll pay for one i'll pay for this if you want yeah i'll commission you you know saying that it'll, they'll pay them more this that and the other and what he's actually doing here is starting to cast the net he's casting the, the line he's casting the line he's put the bait on there and now he's just waiting for it to reel them in because once he reels them in then he's got them on a financial string where he's going to keep giving them bait so that they keep coming back and then of course when you're actually owed money now's the time of course for you to uh then guilt trip them and make them feel bad about you i'm obviously pressed knowing now i owe someone 300 dollars. that's not fun but you worked hard you deserve it now after this payment specifically then he does something that pretty much is going to disincentivize them from asking for payment ever again which is this this uh kind of pseudo cold shouldering this this really just like douchey attitude talking to your fucking girlfriend like they're a client what the fuck is wrong with you thanks for making a final decision i'll pay you when i can and hopefully soon appreciate your cooperation miss so then they try and you know reach out saying oh how you know this then the other how's your throat doing and then he says our conversations will only be limited so work decisions such as thumbnails art etc and any personal reasons that need to be dealt with what is this just because i wanted payment if so i don't want to be paid it's fine it's not worth it but you could pretty clearly see the incentive structure here now it's odd hearing it from my boyfriend in law you can just call me by my name i'd suggest getting used to it due to our conversation restriction oh and i love you thanks for the feedback it's not feedback i love you again thanks for the feedback miss please inform me if you need any more assistance or anything at present or future does not matter no love you back financial abuse putting them on the line for things that you should not be put on the line for in this case actually making sure that you keep them in check so that they don't ask you for money ever again by putting your relationship on the line now a part of this also is cold shouldering as i said a lot of those last messages will tie in with cold shouldering as well i'm gonna wait in the call until i know you are okay i might pass out but until i do so i am not going nowhere leave me alone let me know when you are calmer how about no okay you can text me whenever you want nah Okay, I'll leave you alone. See me never. Question mark. What? Just being a douchebag, standoffish, uh, pushing them away. And again, it creates this kind of dynamic where it's like, Fuck, what did I do wrong? You know, to stop getting his attention. What did I do wrong? I need to do something to make it back up to him. And that gets into, unfortunately, the next part. The next two things follow pretty much the narrative of well he stopped giving me attention he stopped rewarding me with these things what do i do to make it up to him what do i do to make sure that he doesn't do this again what do i do to, to, to please him to be on his side the first one of these things is called abusive sleep deprivation what is abusive sleep deprivation well it's pretty much keeping your victim up and making them lose sleep so that they are easy to manipulate uh by how tired they are for example Stuff like this, him actually stigmatizing them falling asleep. He calls it a vanishing, and it's a bad thing. If they just fall asleep and then don't get back to him, that's a bad thing, actually. Bruh, what happened? Are you okay? Huh? I passed out. Bruh, you keep vanishing out of nowhere. I'm fucking sick of it. I'm fucking done with this. No, don't apologize. It's whatever. I'm so sick of worrying about you. Vanishing out of nowhere. It's not. That's not all unfortunately this is getting really annoying i should just work on the animation by myself why by yourself because you'll just vanish again i won't you will i won't just go back to bed like you always do you seem upset by that and i'm sorry i don't care just go back to bed i'll scrap you from the animation and script i want to stay though just go to bed again go vanish what a great guy i'll maybe get one of my exes to help me with the animation and voice acting oh okay if you want to i mean i can't stop you you'll just vanish or fall asleep as usual i won't you're weak grimmy 2.0 and i'm not being mean here it's the truth you can tell me if i'm being rude but as i see it you're just a second version of her this is x by the way what a great guy i had to sleep again i know i i know i disappointed you but it won't happen again This is a this is a, not a healthy relationship right here, is it? When one person is actually afraid to go to sleep because they know it's going to disappoint their partner to this degree, and they have like clearly reason to be afraid. Look at the way that he is getting mad at them. Now again, sticking with the theme of how Tyler 
needed to make up for him treating them poorly this is where things get a little bit bad because now we have to talk about coercive sex now coercive sex is a pretty wide net in this case yeah no it, it's not great what tyler was pressured into doing i'm not going to be going into detail with this a because i will get demonetized to hell but um what you need to know again the download link is in the description is that milk dead on multiple occasions pressured tyler into doing things that they were actually scared of doing and um they did it and they you know sent things and engaged in ways that he was pressuring them into doing just so that you know he could get back uh the attention that he was depriving them of because he was you know again he was abusing them <sighs> what a great guy i had to adapt to the adult life right away so part two where the fuck do i come in because you're probably still wondering how on earth do i have something to do with it so, I made a video on Milk Dead back in May. A video that he responded to. Tyler and I became friends a couple months later. And we started talking um, and becoming a little bit closer with each other. I eventually convinced them to stop talking to Milk Dead. Because he was very clearly not having a good effect on them. And as a result of this, as a result of Milk Dead losing a grip on Tyler, he was not very happy. And he kind of exerted his last breath in some pretty hilarious ways. This that I have is one of these uh, last breaths, changing his discord about to f fishing L onion bread. This was, of course, following, though, um, his multiple attempts to try and befriend me out of nowhere because he knew that I was probably going to call him out. Also, trying to get into Paycheck Gang, which is hilarious. <laughs> I was wondering if I could be friends with him and join the Paycheck Gang. <laughs> Additionally, he tried to exert even more of his control, as if Tyler is like a fucking object that he owns, trying to pay for a fucking plane ticket that I already paid for, for them to fly out here, which, if this video is, if you're seeing this clip right now, that means that they are in this video. How does he do it, baby? You can ask. Trying to exert his control over them, saying, you know what, tell Fishing he can save his money, because I'm going to pay for the plane ticket. Yeah, me, nice guy over here, nice guy 101, Milk Dead. You know, the guy who says uh, some bangers like, you cry all the time, it's very annoying. Yeah, what a nice guy you are. He offered to pay for the plane ticket, obviously we declined. I already paid for it, and I didn't want to, you know, give him this caveat of control that he was very obviously trying to have. So then after that, then he tried to get into Paycheck Gang and be my friend. Sent me this paragraph about how he's, you know, wanted to be my friend and this, that, and the other. It's pretty obvious what his intentions were. He was losing control on Tyler and he needed to try and claw that back any way he could. So he would be desperate and, you know, try and be friends with me if that's what it meant. If it could just mean that, you know, he could still have control over Tyler. Yo, uh, what the fuck is up? It's me, the sprite on the screen right here. And before we get to the conclusion of the video, I want to make a kind of point. Don't talk about shit that you don't know shit about. Don't talk about shit, or maybe don't even make something about something that you are not fucking involved in. Let it be clear. The reason I am talking about this situation is because I have a very, very big role in this. And I care about Tyler as a person, and I am doing this to fucking defend them and make them feel better. So I want to send a massive fuck you to everybody who made a video on this or posted about this for the fucking clicks of it. There's a pretty fine line between spreading awareness about something and paying your respects to someone and um, making some dog shit like this. Show up? What the fuck is this? This is a dog shit piece of media that is just a dog shit commentary video. Someone that probably saw that Parlo retweeted this before he got his account suspended on Twitter and decided, hey, let's make some good clicks off of this. Evident by the fact that the first line of the description is 200 likes for part two. Yeah, I'm sure you really have a really a strong integrity in, in the situation. Sorry, sweetheart, the adults are talking. You know what I'm saying? The adults are talking, and most, most importantly, the people who actually matter and understand the situation are talking. So maybe leave you and your stupid f***ing audience out of this. Sorry to get a little bit rude there in a video where I, st I started it by saying I wasn't going to be swearing that much. But uh, I don't know. You, you end up sending a lot of fans that don't understand the situation to our doorstep, to Tyler's doorstep. And, uh... Hey, maybe don't do that. It ends up just uh, really dramatizing and making a, a click factor off of something that was incredibly traumatic to someone that I care very deeply about. So maybe knock it the fuck off, buddy. Maybe don't say 200 likes for part two. How about maybe kill yourself?
Ding, 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 ding. Maybe do it. Free up some of that oxygen for everybody else, you know what I'm saying? There's probably gonna be a lot of milk that fans out here where this video is gonna go over your head. And, um, you know, that's okay. You know, that's okay. Pumpkin, bumpkin, sweet, sweetheart, sunshine, whatever your mommy calls you. How about you go back and go play with your toy trucks? The adults are talking, and the adults are talking about things that actually fucking matter. So all you fucking idiots that are gonna rush to Milk Dad's defense in the comment section, it's okay. Look, I know, I know fifth grade geography homework is hard, but sometimes you just gotta do it. You don't, don't take that stress out on me, you know what I'm saying? Like, just do it. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. I had to adapt to the adult life right away. Alright, so, um, so that's the video. This is Tyler, by the way, in case you're wondering here. Tyler, you can say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching i guess um <laughs> <laughs> that's it no 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 no. we're gonna keep droning we're gonna keep droning i just want to like milk that you know sucks to suck <laughs> sucks to suck baby <laughs> <laughs> I think I cooked milk that harder than I cooked like anybody else ever. We got his YouTube <laughs> channel t taken down. Not out. taken down. He literally he took, it, took it down himself. Flew out his fucking like ex-girlfriend. Ex <laughs> and then kissed her on camera. That's oh, gotta he's suck. <laughs> <laughs> he's oh, gonna yeah. fucking kill himself when he sees this. Stop. <laughs> Stop. He can't say it. Rip Bozo. He can't do that. That's like threatening someone's life. You'll get demonetized for that. <laughs> it was a joke, guys. It was a joke. It's that simple. There we go. I also want to talk about this silly-ass comment that I saw because it's like a child that made it, but I still want to come down on it because, like, I guess it's actually in general. Like, I don't need to target, like, a specific comment, but it's, uh, like, Milk Dead has actual fans, first of all, and Sadly. these people are like, he was one of my favorite content creators. I watched him every day, and I loved all of his videos. I can never believe that he did this. Like, dog. Kill myself. His videos are so <laughs> fucking bad. That's it. Subscribe, like it, comment for more life-ruining expo. <laughs> you lost, bitch. <laughs> What a way to end the fucking video. Yo, hi, I'm dubbing this over because, uh, why not? Who- nobody's gonna tell me what to do. Uh, man, I went through a lot to make this thing, this video. I hope you liked it. Um, yeah, god, man. Sorry I didn't get it out last week. Uh, it, more on that later. That's it.